the Gauss-Seidel method. So remember with the Jacobi iteration method, the matrix A had to be diagonally dominant. Well, clearly this restricts the number of problems that we can solve. What do we do if it's not diagonally dominant? Well, the Gauss-Seidel method is an alternative to the Jacobi iteration method that overcomes the, the limitation of having to be diagonally dominant. So let's formulate the method. So we're going to decompose A into a lower and upper triangular matrix. Now this is not the same uh, L and U that we had in LU decomposition because that was L times U. Here we have A equals L plus U. And I'm putting the apostrophe there to remind us this is not the same LU as LU decomposition. And so we really just uh, strip the bottom half of A, including the diagonal, and put that into L. And then we have the top half of A, not including the diagonal, to make our U. So that's L and U from A. We really just strip A, split it in part, and that gives us our LU. Now we want to solve AX equals B, and we know that A is L plus U. So let's substitute this into our equation and see where we are. So we have AX equals B. We split A into L plus U. Then we multiply that out. So we have an L times X plus a U times X equals B. Now, we know from experience with triangular matrices, triangular matrices sort of represent almost solved matrices. So we know they are extremely fast to solve. So if we have an LX times B, where this is a triangular matrix, we know that will be very fast to solve. So let's try to take advantage of that. So here's where we were on the previous slide. Let's move our U times X over to the right, and that's a U times X. So now we have a, an L times X equals B minus U times X. Then we'll put parentheses around what was on the right-hand side. We'll bring our L over to the other side. And this gives us an equation that we have to solve for X. However, so what's inside here is all multiplication. That's very fast. This is a triangular matrix, meaning it will be very, very fast to solve this problem. And that's really the magic of this method, that we're using triangular matrices that are very fast to solve. So here's the final form of our update equation. We're just writing this a slightly different way where we'll put a, an I subscript on X, meaning this is the X from the current iteration. And we apply this equation to calculate X from the next iteration. And remember L and U are just, we're just splitting our original A matrix in half. So we can put numbers to those, we can put numbers in B, and that's a very, very fast thing to iterate. And it overcomes the limitation of A having to be a diagonally dominant matrix. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for watching this video. I love hearing your stories about how these videos helped you. I also love answering your questions. So please tell me your stories and ask your questions in the comment section. I promise I will try to answer every single question that's asked. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I also recommend visiting the official course website that has links to the latest versions of the notes, the latest videos, and there's lots of other resources to help you learn, including implementations in MATLAB. I'll see you in the next video.